Hello, I'm Grant Lindeberg, and you are watching Pushing Cardboard. Today we're having a, an unboxing of 1812 Napoleon's Fateful March by Brian Asklev. Uh, this is uh, one of the latest games from VUCA Simulations, and uh, I'm happy they sent me a copy here to uh, have a look at. This is, uh, this is your typical <laughs> VUCA, very heavy box, uh, you know, two inch box, very, feels very uh, Full. Um, this, uh, it says it's the Marshals and Quartermaster Series Volume 1, and it's, uh, it's uh, supposed to be a, 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 the campaign to uh, Russia uh, at the operational level. So um, it's a card-driven system, and uh, it says something about secret order placement. So uh, we'll, see what, we'll see what that means. I, I tell you one thing it means, uh, well, the uh, complexity is 4. With uh, the secret order placement, the uh, solitaire suitability is uh, way down at uh, at one. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you're looking for a, a game with a solitaire bot, or even a game that's easy to play solitaire, just by playing both sides, this might not be the game for you. But, let's have a look. I mean, oh, what a great looking cover, eh? Man, uh, the, the VUCA... The people at VUCA do beautiful covers, beautiful components. Uh, everything about uh -huh. their production values is uh, is always, you know, nothing short of spectacular. Here's the rule book, and uh, it's uh, it's your typical VUCA semi-gloss paper, 20 pages. Nice big, uh, nice big fonts here. So. <laughs> You know, if you're uh, if you need readers or your uh, your eyes are uh, you know need a little help, uh, this is uh, this is about as far away from those old rule books we used to get from the 70s from uh, SPI that seemed to have like a, a six point font or something. Uh, wow, it this looks you know it says it's uh, it says it's um, complexity four, and by the looks of this rule book, I mean it. it it really doesn't look hard. Now it's interesting that the way they've written the rule book is a little different than a lot of rule books. This looks like a this looks like a rule book that's really been written in a way to teach the game. So it'll be interesting to see how well it works as a rule book as a um, as a reference guide uh, once you've learned the game. But it yeah it really looks like you just go through it and that's how you learn it. So that's the rule book. Well, we also have a playbook. VUCA doesn't always do playbooks, but here we go. Uh, 20, 24 play, page playbook. It's going to have the scenarios in it, it looks like here. So scenario 1, 2, scenario 3 is the big one, the grand campaign. Uh, we have uh, orders of battle and setups. Oh, got another one. Scenario 4. Scenario five. Well, it looks like we got a lot. We've got a few extra. Scenario six. This is the retreat. <laughs> Some player notes and design notes. Wow, that's a that's a good looking package there for sure. Okay. Wow. Look at this. We have uh, we have blocks. Um, I'm not going to open those up. Those are your. You know, they they look very. They're one inch blocks. Looks very much like uh, the blocks you get from uh, a Commands and Colors game or a, or a Columbia block game. And we've got uh, red. Uh, I'm sure green for the Russians and uh, blue for Boney. Uh, we've got another little bag of little cubes. Uh, there's a custom die here and uh, a couple of custom die. Um, a couple of custom dice, I guess I should say. There we go. So, very uh, strange faces on the die. Minus one, a one with something. Who knows? Anyway. Got some uh, custom custom dice. 
And uh, and these um, these look like they're going to be clips that you uh, you see from the side there. I don't know if I can give you a good look. Uh, you, I'm guessing these are standy clips where you you put the standy in and then the standy stands up. All right, we have a couple of decks of cards. We might as well uh, open up at least one of them and see what the cards look like in this game. <coughs> they are uh, standard. Standard poker size. Was a dummy. Vagrations retreat. So some of them have what look like ops points, but there's a little uh, there's little symbols up here as well. Yeah, there's a different symbol there. So it's not, uh, you know, yeah. There's a couple of different symbols on that one. So uh, well, let's. Uh, well, let's, let's look at the French ones as well, just for the just for the fun of it. I don't want to give. There we go. So similar thing, some sort of an ops points, some event text little explanations on the bottom, probably historical notes to go with the event, and then some sort of a symbol, like we have the exclamation point, we've got the the sabers on that one, a card out of the hand or something on that one, same with that one and that one. So there we see, uh, there we see what the cards look like. Uh, up, now these, these look like little screens that you fold. We have a, oh, maybe we have different ones for the different leaders. We have uh, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte, Jerome Bonaparte, Marat, Bornet, Davout, Schwarzenberg, and then the Russians. We have Bagration, Wittgenstein, uh, Chicago, Sh Chicago, uh, boy, uh, there's the Tsar, uh, Barclay de Tolly, Tormasov, Kutuzov, and Platov. So there we go. Those are, you know, th these, I'm guessing you fold the wings and these hide some sort of display or something. All right, next up, uh, it is a, um, well, let's see, it is a, Mounted map board. Oh, gotta be careful. You never know how they're gonna, what direction they're gonna fold out. There we go. So, if we, uh, you can see the whole thing there, sort of. Very good looking board. And uh, then we'll. Zoom right in and see if we can't get a tighter look at some of this stuff. So you can see it's obviously a point-to-point a -point map. Uh, there's, uh, I don't know if those are areas between, no, I think these are just strictly point-to-point -point and it's either uh, roads or tracks or something is uh, the difference in in the lines there is, uh, that's my guess, you know. I could be uh, totally wrong. This looks like a sheet of stickers, uh, which uh, is what would what's going to go on those blocks. Oh, I better adjust that. Uh, don't need that quite so uh, zoomed in anymore. There we go. So there's a uh, some French ones and some Russian ones. Three punched counters, uh, double-sided. Oh, look at these ones, marching, marching in the snow. They don't look very happy. Uh, and then 
as I mentioned before, I thought those uh, uh, black clips were standees, and indeed here we have uh, some you know st punchable standout or standees. So there we go, and uh, here's going to be a comparable sheet for the uh, with some Russian units. Now they don't look any more happy than the uh, than the French ones do in the uh, winter in the snowy ones. Another sheet. This one's got a few more, a few more Russian leaders. Wow, quite a few sheets here. And two final leaders and a couple of, a couple of spares. And then looks like you can use. If you don't want to use the standees, they have optional leader counters, just in the the regular counter style. There's a few games like that where they give you the option. And then yeah. Just as I thought, there's now the last thing in the box here is um, some player aid cards, and uh, Vuka gives you thick player aid cards, thick as the counters. It's not just a not just a piece of floppy cardboard. So uh, we have one with uh, a French one for the sequence of play, and uh, then has some pursuit and battle resolution. Attrition table, you know, basic uh, player raid card, and then uh, a Russian version of the same thing. And I'm, I'm not sure they they have these card options at the bottom. Perhaps uh, there's some. Perhaps that's the difference between the two player aids is that the uh, card options are specific to uh, each player. Then we have a second. These are identical, so it's. Uh, Another player aid for both players, uh, with some ability leader abilities on one side, a weather table, and then a map legend on the other side. And yeah, there we go. It was uh, roads and tracks. I was right. So, so that's it. That's that's what comes in the box for uh, for eighteen twelve Napoleon's fateful march. Uh, as always, just. Uh, a beautiful job production wise and uh, I, I'm really interested to play this game. I uh, uh, coincidentally just finished, uh, I think it's the, the author's name is Chandler, uh, his uh, Campaigns of Napoleon uh, book which is, um, you know, it's it's not a, it's not a recent work but it's uh, one of those standards and so uh, so I feel I'm, I'm primed. Now's the time to play some Napoleonic games. And uh, what could be better than this one? This looks terrific. Anyway, this is uh, this has been Grant Lindenberg for Pushing Cardboard. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you over on the website sometime. Pushingcardboard.com.